For a fourth time under the present administration, the National Economic Council is held virtually. Vice President Kashim Shatima chairs the meeting, which has in attendance state governors and some ministers, while some senior aides to the vice president are in his conference room at the presidential villa to take notes. The vice president calls for unity of purpose in addressing the challenges confronting the nation. We must remain consistent in implementing the initiatives that alleviate the suffering of our citizens and be accountable in doing so. We must also ensure that the interventions we deploy are non-discriminatory and favor all stakeholders with no part of our communities or nation lagging behind. The council received reports of some of its committees, including the one on state policing. So far, according to the Secretary of the National Economic Council, only 16 states have submitted memorandum, 20 states and the FCTI yet to send a report. Uh, but those states that did uh, indicated support for the establishment of state police. An abridged version of the report of the Committee on Crude Oil Theft Prevention and Control is also presented. Areas of leakages in the oil industry are identified. Activities in the industry, production, flow station, pipeline and shipment were monitored. And cases of, of serious infrastructure infractions were observed. Meanwhile, the federal government is targeting to empower over a million young Nigerians with digital skills. That IDICE program, as we term it, is worth $617 million. And um, the important impact that it will have is that it will create about uh, um, 1.3 million jobs for young people. The report of the country's account as of March, as presented during the meeting, shows that the excess crude account is about $500,000. The stabilization account is 33.8 billion naira, and natural resources account is 114 billion naira. NEC also received briefing from Governor Abdurrahman Abdurazak of Kwara State, who is the chairman of the newly inaugurated Committee on Economic Affairs that is saddled with the responsibility of looking into issues of access to economic opportunities, tackling current challenges, reviewing infrastructure's deficit, as well as insecurity. From the Presidential Villa, Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.